What up, what up, what up? It's the Kick Back Kid. And we rocking with, uh, I think, number six here. I'm not really sure. Don't hold me to that. Man, the ending, man, got crazy. Jesus Christ, yo. I'm trying to see what's going to happen next. We about to see what's going to happen next. Um, that's I know that Android from somewhere. I can't remember. I forgot who the Android was. I can't remember his name, but we're we about to find out. Um, so, yeah, damn. Uh, once again, um, Quantum Dream, that's what's up. Anyways, I want to thank all uh, my subs, all, I think, 30 of y'all. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Subbing the kickback gaming. Thank you for that. You know, I'm going to put. You always cut me off. Already I'm going to talk over you this time. That no, was no, a no, short no, no, no. Blah, 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 blah. Glad blah. to see you again. Oh. Anyways, like I was saying, shout out to the to the subs who is sub to K, uh, KBG, Kickback Gaming, for Retro Games and Modern Games and Launch Let's Plays. Uh, let's get it. Let's go. Loving y'all. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is when I like to talk over the loading. So her, let me hurry up and speed it up. Um anyways, yeah. So um thank you for the subs. I mean you guys are like almost like a part of history. I don't care what nobody say, like y'all can look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm just saying, like, even if you know, I got like let's say two if I'm two hundred subs later, y'all could be having brag rights. Like, yeah, we was first. We was first, y'all late. But anyways, um thank you guys. Genuinely. Uh it's it's nice to know that at least somebody's out there watching your stuff. You know, that's always cool. You know, um, but other than ah, all right, we in the game. I talk a lot. Let's go. Plastic with you? Of course, I'm getting out the car. Is that an Italian guy over there? How you doing, man? Number five and the third. Lickety split. That Look at that lamp. You pimping? You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me. He might be pimping. Come on. This is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. I didn't really pay attention. What was that? What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <sighs> um, partners. I don't know. Partners, I. I thought it would be a good idea to get to know each other better so we can work as a team. We are not partners. I am a human. You are a machine. So just spare me that buddy of bullshit program, okay? Here you go. He's got the carbs, the water, the salt. <laughs> uh, he broke it down. Thanks, Gary. I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Uh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Man, I can do for a burger. Oh my God! Hey. I might get one right after this. Hmm. Um. Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. Ask you a personal question, Lieutenant. Why do you hate Android so much? I have my reasons. Hmm. 
Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Wow. Maybe I should tell you what we know about Deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Um, I guess. Let me see. I'm gonna say, oh, no, I know I'm running out of time. I graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? Um, I don't know my conclusion. I know you're an experienced officer, and I'd like to earn your trust. I'm sure we can solve this case if we manage to work together. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. What do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to say that. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god, here we go. I don't know why I want to pick this up. I don't like these things. But I picked it up. Let me just glance at it. Okay. I'm just gonna skip all that. I got a feeling we're gonna see some action. I don't want to miss out on that. I want to jump right into it. Oh damn. Oh. What the fuck is this? Oh, Ugh. I don't want to walk in front of Jesus, him. This place I'm not stinks. trying to get hit crossfire. What's over here? Better not be another Well, uh, looks like we came for nothing. No, something to look Our at. Our man's gone. Oh, I'm not missing anything. What those? I mean, I, I read a couple of them. This didn't really seem... RT. Uh, you know. 
probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Nope, this way. There we go. Look at these pigeons. Ah! <laughs> what we got here? Let's go ahead and take a look here. All right. Any idea what it means? RA-9, written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Okay, let's look. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just dried out. Android blood. And that little LED thing. Its LED is in the sink. I'm surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Okay, um... Here we go with the... Little part here. Uh, this is where I always get lost. Jesus Christ. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go. There we go, and let me see. Here we go, right here. Wait, I already did that one. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. There's something else to ah, analyze. Jesus, I hate Wait, these it's the same thing. What did I miss? This? I thought I just did this. Oh, no, nope, I missed it. Well, no, I got this wooden stool. Um, I gotta analyze something else. I thought it was like two and one, you know, two analyzed thingies. Um. Man, look at all these people. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Uh, electronic books, you can't smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Maybe. Right, come on, we gotta find something else. Birdseed. I can't believe it. This nut job was actually feeding these oh, here we go, over here. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. There's the accuracy. Did I, did I get it? Yeah, okay, got it. Wait, there's another piece down here, no? Okay. 
Wait a minute, I'm not done. It's telling me one of uh two. There we go, up here. Wait, so I gotta go back to that chair then. Okay, let me go back to that chair. Let me see. Wait a minute, hold up. We got here. There's coding in this book. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Looks like this code right here, or whatever this pattern is. Yup. In this bathroom, too. Okay, I think I missed something on this chair. Let me see. I did. Oh, what's, what's happening with this? Okay, nothing. There's another clue on this chair somewhere. Right? Because I wanted to. So I'm not done with this. Let me see, am I doing this right? Um, I see these arrows kind of rotating. I don't know what that is. I gotta. Okay, maybe it's not on the chair. Maybe it's in here. But no, that wouldn't make sense, right? Because it says one of two. Yeah, I gotta. Damn, I'm lost again. Let me figure this out. I don't see nothing on this chair. It's just this. That's all I see. Just this down here. Is there something I'm not doing right? Okay. Um. Let me see. Uh, look, we're just gonna come back to that. I don't know what's going on there. Right, let's keep it moving. What's over here? These pigeons is crazy. A lot of them. Man, I hate being stuck. I can't stand that. I know it has something to do with this chair. But what am I missing on the chair? Like, it's telling me to press triangle. What am I not getting? A uh, clues to analyze. I got one more clue. Ah, <sighs> let's just do it again. Pressing different buttons, nothing's working here. Oh my god. Um And I know I can't leave this like that, right? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. We're about to find out. Man, let's get about the bathroom or just this whole place. Can we leave? Come on, detective. I'm calling the shots. Let's go. Uh, I guess the game is calling the shots. Wait a minute. Swerve. I didn't go in here. There's nothing else to see here. Let's get out of this shithole before I die of an asthma attack. Man, we're leaving. We're missing something. Well, next time, think faster, Sherlock. Come on, I've had enough of this dump. Wait, did I put stay? Move, fuckers. Ah. Mm. The nest. I want to go back to Marcus's story. Come on, let's go back. I mean, that's cool. This story cool and everything, too. But Marcus's story is getting crazy.
So come on, Marcus. Let's see what's going on with that. That mess is looking crazy, man. I mean, he didn't fail in that little. This is that's probably what we're about to go to right now. Oh, snaps. Here it is. Let's go. Who are you? Fugitives. <clears throat> Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. What? Settle in, find Lucy, explore Jericho. Um, hey, how's it going? What's up, bro? I think I seen somebody over here. Android run uh, runaways. Look at this. Damn, she's Are insane. You Lucy? Sit down. <laughs> Enlightened android. All right, let's rock. Show me. Okay. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. Is it gonna make me like the Black Panther? Cause that'd be awesome. Let's drink it. Give me your hand. Ah, look at those eyes. You had it all. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. 
which will prevail. Your choices will shape our destiny. Okay, explore Jericho. Man, her dome is gone. I'm gonna start a fire. Let's rock out. I mean, let's vibe out. Maybe I get some androids, kind of circle the fire. We just start sharing little android stories about like being dramatized and discriminated against and treated unfairly and whatnot. Look at that. Yep, I knew it. It's happening. Hey, what's up? You want to say anything? I didn't mean my controls are bad. Are oh, you just trying to be warm? Okay. Gotcha. But we're androids. Like, aren't we just like cold steel and all this other stuff? Look at this guy. Jesus. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Damn. Died right in front of me. Jesus. All right. Man, look at that. All right, um, I don't know if I want to talk to any of you guys anymore. Can I go upstairs? Uh. Threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Okay. All right. Well, um, let's keep exploring Jericho. Excuse me. Break down the walls of Jericho. Shoutouts to uh, any WWE fans, retro WWE fans, really for like the late '90s, early 2000s. That's definitely what's up. Break the walls down! Okay, alright. Jericho. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Let's see. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? I was just asking, dang. A lot of these guys are in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. 
They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Man, these androids are down in the dumps. Hey guys, can I talk to you guys? No. I don't want to start a fire. I want to do something, man. Lucy, um, help me out, man. Okay, can I leave now? I'm still exploring Jericho, okay. What's up, dude? How's it going? I'm not in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. Man, this is a depressing place. Nope, can't talk to him, can't talk to him. Talk to her, she's ticked off. How about you guys over here, what's going on? I think they're staying sleeping. Well, what do we got here? Who now? Okay, I kind of forgot who that was, but I think it's the blonde dude. Hey, Simon, I got a plan. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna wait for the good stuff. That's what I'm gonna do because it seems like they're about to get really active, you know, proactive, android active, whatever you want to call it. And they look like they're about to make some moves. 
um, I'm actually almost pretty much out of time anyway. So, I mean, it's unfortunate, but I mean, hey, if I think I don't even know if I got all my videos right correctly. This is number six. Uh, so number seven should really pick up with uh, Marcus's story. Looking forward to that. Uh, anyways, if you like the video on it, wait, damn, I don't, I'm really stuck on this one. Should I run it? Should I do it? I can't because the time is so unfortunate. Damn. Look, um, Jesus Christ. All right. Look, if you enjoyed the video, um, thank you. Show that you enjoyed the video by, uh, liking, um, subscribing or sharing, you know, um, this is kickback gaming from the ground up. Learning as I go along, having fun while doing it, enjoying it, enjoying life, enjoying the waves. Anyways, um, appreciate anybody who clicked this and watched it. Love y'all. God bless. You know what it is. It's the Kickback Kid. All right, deuces, y'all. Peace.